crushed potato skillet and porterhouse steaks. I let them come to room temperature. I rub them with crushed, uh, cracked or halved garlic. I leave rosemary on them and I put coarse pepper all over them and then we salt them right before they go on the grill. We're going to take baby potatoes. You don't have to peel them. You just throw them in a pot, cover them oh, by a couple inches with cold water. When they come to a full boil, I add salt to the water. Let them drain. And I'm also going to put them back into the hot pot. Now you can see inside the basket here, down here, there's crushed garlic that I cooked with the baby potatoes. I'm going to take that little bit of onion and let that get in there and start softening up in the butter and olive oil mixture and throw the rosemary in with that onion to infuse the fats in the pan. Then I'm gonna take one egg, hop it into a dish, and then I'm gonna whisk in about a half a cup of heavy cream. Then I'm going to add about a half a cup, or about one ounce of grated Parmigiano Reggiano. Boop. Little nutmeg. And then we're going to take our potatoes, carefully slide them in there, and then you just kind of work them into the pan and crush them. Add all of our custard and mix it all up. And then we're gonna distribute that into an even layer and top that with another ounce or about another half a cup of Parmigiano Reggiano, a little bit more cheese, just to coat the top. I have the oven rack right dead center because you don't want the top to brown too quick. You want this to kind of hang out in there about 15 minutes or so. So two good handfuls of flat leaf parsley tops and one handful of celery tops. These are the leafy tops to celery. We're gonna add two cloves of garlic, a half a cup of buttery green olives. These are Castle Valtrano. You can also use Cerignola. And we're gonna squish in the juice of a lemon. We're gonna add some drained capers, about three tablespoons or so. Okay, a little bit of anchovy. Now we're going to add some good, fruity, strong flavored olive oil, just to help it come together. The walnuts, I toasted up about a cup. I'm gonna put about half in our sauce. Oh, I forgot pepper. Uh, your choice of red or black. Perfect. Perfect. You sear one side for two minutes on the highest heat possible. Mm -hmm. Then you flip them over, you sear the other side. Then you flip them back over and then totally choke off the heat. Uh, slap the lid down. So now all the, the flames are gone, but the, the residual heat is still in there for another two minutes. So that's six minutes. So that's six said. minutes total. Inside, they brown seven minutes on the first side, about five minutes on the second side to get a good crust. Then throw it in the oven for about five minutes, again, for medium rare, and then I let them rest before I slice them. We carved the filet off, then the strip, then I sliced them, right? Now we're going to take the charred lemon that he did for us, and we're going to put that all over the meat and then a drizzle of really good olive oil, Malden flaky sea salt, and sprinkle that over the top. And we have our giant crushed potato cake. We're also gonna hit it with some grassy parsley. Parsley for everybody. It's a party, woo! <laughs> now, the potatoes have rest, and I cut it like a wedding cake in half first and then into strips. And then we top that with a little of our walnut sauce. 